Hi, boys and girls. So next Wednesday, April 22nd, is Earth Day. So we're going to share some books with you about recycling and taking care of our Earth. The book that I'm going to share with you is called Michael Recycle Meets Litterbug Doug. And it is the second book in a series um, that Mrs. Neidert will read you the first book that is just called Michael Recycle. Michael Recycle Meets Litterbug Doug. In a beautiful valley in the shade of a hill was a clean little town that was full of goodwill. But the quaint little town had a problem to face, for on top of the hill stood a mountain of waste. And who was the culprit? Who was the thug? It was lonely and lazy boned. Litter bug Doug. His house was a garbage dump full of old stuff that was rotting and molding and smelly enough to make your eyes water. The stink was so strong, but Doug didn't think he'd done anything wrong. And his only real friends were a hundred odd rats, except for the two lounging and fat tabby cats. Can you find his cats in that picture? There's a rocking horse that the mice rats are on. Lots of stuff. From alone on his throne, Doug thoughtlessly threw all manner of litter, and so the pile grew. A rotting banana, some moldy old cheese, faulty fridge freezers and smashed up TVs. Chewed up old candy that was no longer sweet. All kinds of Doug's clutter was hurled on the heap. And then, to the joy of the hundred odd rats, Doug even got rid of his two tabby cats. The cats were so plump that they made the dump fall. And down came the garbage, rats, cats, and all. But then something happened that none could explain. It wasn't a bird and it wasn't a plane. A green-caped crusader stupendously swooped descending to earth with a great loop-the-loop. -loop. Litterbug Doug, said our green hero, Michael. Littering's wrong. You've got to recycle. He has recycled lots of things. A strainer for a helmet, a pop bottle cap for a shield on his chest, but Doug just retorted, I won't make amends. I don't need this town. The rats are my friends. But Doug, don't you care that the litter you've hurled is rotting and reeking, polluting our world? It's hard to believe, but I guess it depends. Do you really want rats and not people as friends? Then thinking aloud, Doug said, I suppose they do give me fleas and they nibble my toes. They make such a racket, their hygiene's not great. I'd love some real friends, but is it too late? Of course not, said Michael. All hands on deck. If we work hard together, we can save you just yet. They formed a big chain from Doug's dump to Michael to sort out what's garbage and what to recycle. And soon all the town was so neat and pristine, the only thing left was to give Doug a clean. And now he was neater and no longer smelled, so they gave him a job at which Doug excelled. Now watch out, don't litter or drop one small piece. 
He's there in a flash. Doug's the litter police. Hmm. Yep, now he has a pop cap, pop bottle cap, has a shield on his chest, a trash can hat, a fresh apple on his necklace chain, and he's even got his rats helping keep things clean. You think he learned his lesson? Help take care of our earth. It's the only one we've got. 